Hi everybody, George Steele 88 with another video. Title of this video, Steel Sign Cal Allen, well quarterback Cal Allen, and defensive end Dean Lowry. So let's get into it. Well, yesterday Omar Khan continued to make moves to approve the Steelers roster. I mean, yesterday they signed Quez Watkins, or wide receiver Quez Watkins. And, and then yesterday they also signed quarterback Cal Allen and defensive end Dean Lowry. So let's start with Cal Allen, or quarterback Cal Allen. Well, Cal Allen, he started his career with the uh, Carolina Panthers, and he played he played two seasons with the Panthers, two seasons in Washington, a season in Houston, and then a season in Buffalo behind quarterback Josh Allen. So Cal Allen... I mean, he could be a pretty good quarterback, but he's going to be a number three quarterback behind Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. So the quarterback room looks pretty much improved from a Steelers' perspective. So Kyle Allen is going to be pretty much a solid number three quarterback for the Steelers. So, I mean, in Carolina, in his two years there, he had, he made um, 13 starts and played 15 games. And during his time with Carolina, he had he had 19 touchdowns and 16 interceptions in two seasons in Carolina. In two seasons in Washington, he had five touchdowns and one interception in his four starts and playing six games. Well, in Buffalo, he didn't do much because Josh Allen is was still, was a quarterback and. He, doesn't get hurt. Well, in Houston, he, I mean, he didn't do all that well. He had, he had two started two games and played two games with two touchdown passes and four interceptions. And like I said about Kyle Allen, he's going to be a solid number three, in my opinion, behind Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. So that's Kyle Allen right there. Now let's talk about Dean Rowry. Dean Lowry, defensive end Dean Lowry, he was the fourth round pick of the 2016 draft by the Green Bay Packers. And he, and he spent his career in the in a, um, NFC North with the Packers and the Vikings. He played seven years in Green Bay, though, and made eight starts out of his 111 games he played. And during his time in, during his time in Green Bay, he had 15.5 sacks. And did he get an interception? Yeah, he got one interception. That's in 2019. And he, that's in his seven years with Green Bay. Now, well, he spent a season in Minnesota where he had well, he didn't make much impact in Minnesota because he was a backup in Minnesota. But he only played like four. He only played started four games and played nine games. So, so in Minnesota, he just didn't. He just had about like four solo tackles and fourteen combined. Didn't get a sack, and he only he had a forced fumble though. A fumble recovery, excuse me, with the um, Minnesota Vikings. So, yeah. So that's Dean Lowry right there. Now, Dean Lowry, he's going to be a, be pretty much a backup behind either Cam Hayward or Larry Okojobi. So, yeah, the Steelers, they're going to be looking for a defensive lineman somewhere in the draft, whether it's in the second round or probably in the third round. We'll see. So, so yeah, man. So that's Dean Lowry right there. So nice moves by by um Omar Khan in the front office of the Steelers. Again, quarterback Kyle Allen and defensive tackle, I mean your defensive end um Dean Lowry. So yeah. So let me know what you think down in the comment section down below about these moves that Omar Khan made yesterday. So other than that, that's all from this video. This is George Steele 88. See y'all guys in my next video, and as always,
Here we go, Steelers. Here we go.